I graduated! Okay, you have got to stop doing that, seriously. But they're so much fun! You regret it every time! No, I don't. Really? Well, that better be the last one. Oh, it is, don't worry. I saw that! You just smiled and winked at the camera! No, I didn't. What's under your hat, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well then you wouldn't mind taking your hat off. Of, of course not. You mean this? How did that get there? Yeah, that one. Hand it over. Fine. Thank you. As you can probably tell, I graduated from university. I am now the proud holder of a bachelor's in biology, medical sciences with a minor in chemistry. Okay, more like I'm the proud holder of this diploma holder, since it's currently empty, because they don't give us our diplomas for at least a couple more months. Anyway, I realized I never really talked about my university experiences with you guys, and now seems like the perfect time. Let's start with year number one. I started university in fall of 2009 at St. Louis University in St. Louis, Missouri. I chose this university because I got accepted into the Highly Competitive Medical Scholars Program, which is a special program for students that want to pursue careers in medical sciences. I lived in the dorms my freshman year, but did not have a good experience with roommates, so I just spent a lot of my time outside of my room in my friend's dorm room or in the library. One night, I actually went to the library at 7 p.m. and didn't leave until 7 a.m. However, I did meet really great people on my dorm room floor. Try to get to know all the people on your floor. You can make some great friends there if you're not really close to your roommate. Freshman year is all about adjusting to university life. Some advice I want to give you guys is to try something new. I took a karate class for the first time and I had so much fun. I even learned how to break a board. This board, I snapped it in two with my hand and it didn't even hurt. It was awesome. No, I'm not saying you have to break a board, but just just step out of your comfort zone and try try a new skill or join a club, anything. Just try something new. This next piece of advice, if you take away anything from this video, should be this. As a university student, free food is your best friend. So take advantage of Welcome Week. There will be free t-shirts and free food everywhere you go. My friend and I literally wrote down every single event that was having free food and we hit them all that week. As fun as university can be, it is going to be very difficult depending on what you're studying too, especially the sciences. It, they can be pretty brutal. I had this chemistry class, the lab. You couldn't talk in lab at all. You couldn't ask questions, nothing. If you broke something, they would take points off of your lab reports, even if it was an accident, like it was crazy. So make sure you do not fall behind. Stay on top of things because as soon as you fall behind, really, really, really difficult to catch up. But if you are falling behind or you're struggling and not understanding things, go to your teachers. They will help you and they're really nice about it and they actually want you to ask them questions. I had a good time at SLU my freshman year, but it was in the middle of the city and I'm just not a big fan of being in the city. Not only that, it wasn't the safest. So if I was staying out late at the library, I'd have to call campus police to come pick me up and drive me back to my dorm room. So I just decided it wasn't right for me and decided to transfer. Year two. My second year, I attended Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville, or SIUE. I now lived in a house by myself, so I didn't have to deal with roommates, but I did have to drive 40 minutes every day to school, which was great. <laughs> On the bright side, I had a day off every week where I volunteered at a hospital as a patient transporter. I also spent my summers working at a surgical camp for high school students. Another piece of advice for you guys, try to get involved with your community as much as possible because volunteering is great. Not only does it make you feel good, but you get to give back to your community and it's just a great thing that everybody should experience. I was having a really great time at SAUE, but unfortunately towards the end of my second year, I messed up a disc in my back. I actually eventually had to move back to Jordan and take a semester off entirely to get proper treatment. But during that semester off, I discovered YouTube and started making videos. While making videos and going through this kind of life change, I came to the realization that medicine was no longer for me. After months of physical therapy, I got my strength back and I enrolled in a university in Jordan. All right, so I don't have a t-shirt from this university, so I'm just gonna wear a hat that says Jordan. After I went through my treatment, I transferred to the American University in Madaba. And I'm gonna be honest, I did not like it for reasons that I'm not going to elaborate on, but I did make some really great friends. Long story short, I convinced my parents to let me go back to the United States to finish up my degree. On the bright side though, I did get to practice my Arabic a little bit. For my final year of university, I came back to Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville, and for the first time in my life, my best friend Layla was going to the same school as me. 
and she introduced me to one of my great friends, Maria, who's been in a bunch of other videos. I spent most of my last year just studying because I had really hard classes and making YouTube videos. I also got to take a film class for the very first time, and I'm currently working on one of my short films. Now, SIUE is a commuter school, which means most of the people don't live on campus. They drive to and from every day, just like me. So really the only way you're gonna get to know people is by joining clubs, uh, finding people with similar interests. That's something that I really suggest you guys do. Not only try something new, but try to find other people that have the same interests as you. And these kind of hobbies can be like good stress relief and just give you a break from all the studying because you will be studying a lot in college. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> but after a very intense year of studying, I finally graduated. It took five years but really four and a half years of actually being in university to finish. Now I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna do. I've been thinking about going to grad school in the UK. I would really love to, to either study and biomedical engineering or education so I can teach high school biology. But at the same time, I also really love making films and making videos and talking to you guys. And if there was a way I could somehow incorporate that into a job, that would be fantastic. In the meantime though, I'm gonna do a lot of volunteering and just kind of work on my resume and research schools a little more. Well, that's my university story in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions about universities in America or in Jordan or applying to universities, transferring, roommates, anything, I'd be happy to answer them. You can leave your questions down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later. Bye! He's an owl that looks like Harry Potter. It's Holy Potter! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you suck helium out of these things? Let's find out. Should we? No, I don't know. Allons-y! <laughs> so this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, and I'll tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. We're soaring, flying, when I started high, I don't know the rest of the words. <coughs> <coughs> yep, regret.